everyone welcome back to another exos heroes episode so today's episode i'm going to share with you guys my main pvp team that i have been playing last week um i'd like to apologize first i forgot to showcase actual pvp matches that i've had last week but i'll show you guys how i finished uh, using this team um so as you can see from my weekly report i finished 99th it's it was really a very difficult climb because um it was the first time that i during that week i brought this team um both uh wasted red and stories already have max signature force um have good blue fate core which i will show you later and i wasn't able to tune it um according to what i wanted because again i usually would be beaten by a very fast dorka with north von frosty comps so that was actually my achilles heel i actually lost my patience uh going up i wanted to go to the next uh, after grand which is i think um legend but again i lost patience and i didn't want to spend a lot of zest i actually spent a lot playing a uh, grand going up and more or less, I didn't want to uh, push through further, so I told myself I'd like to tune this team first before I have it to go probably next uh, next week, right? So today, uh, th this week, we're going to have tag. So, but before we go into a PvP showcase, I'd like to um, <clears throat> show you guys how my team is built already. So again, as I've told you, both um both signature force for um for wasted red and for you are already built up i've shown you this in the past already um as far as my um chaos type uh, buffs uh, this is very decent already at 6.3 um then let's go to um attack type is actually decent as well at six which both um both wasted red and stories would benefit a lot then you have here uh, buffs for Racing Red, uh, very good as well. And also buffs for Stories, also decent as well. So the one thing that I need to need to tinker with is the individual hero buffs. So let's start with the heroes, guys, that I have. So this is the, the main team that I have. Let's start with Racing Red first. So for Racing Red... I only have two uh, here. They're mainly here because of defense. Because without even Garf, Astaris is really squishy and they really don't, you know, they don't stand a chance um, lasting that long in PvP. So Garf is actually mainly responsible for that. So <clears throat> as you can see here, Garf has 58,000 HP, highest. So he gives a buff for HP and defense. And again, Garf is here is, is mainly for defense, shared health, and also attacking the back line. So that is actually his job. As for Rudley, Rudley, um, I've had him for a while, leveled him up for a while. Rudley is here mainly because of his um, S2 and his S1. His S2, guys, is going to be your increase in health and own defense as well and a barrier to boot so again that is why i like garf and ready to be here to provide um defense survivability for the whole team and for um this one is going to be silence and the living shall perish i like his kit so much that i can put him in any team comp i really really want so again for garf let's go back to garf for a while i forgot to mention that Garf also has a um, damage over time effect, and that's about it. So, Breath of Mana, Command, Bulwark of Will, he has, he has um, self heal, um, heals for 30% of, of received damage each time when hit. So, again, he has a very good kit. So, these are the two that I've been using. I actually took out FC Annie, took out FC Maggie. <coughs> And what I did, guys, was bring in the star of the show, which is going to be FC Genai. Because, again, bringing a story is if you don't have a good FC Genai, you won't really be that successful in PvP, especially. So, 
let's take a look at her skills guys so the important ones would be um she deals um 1000 piercing damage for her unleash potential she has uh flow mana again uh mana permanently at the i think the back row this one is going to be her bread and butter her her charm <laughs> Okay, afflicts enemies with lower attack than self with a charm mark and decreases their, their attack speed by 30. So this actually, if you've got her at more or less 10,000 attack, you're safe already. But again, there are a lot of teams that I've encountered in PvP that have higher attack than my Janai. So there are a lot of Janais out there that have a higher attack. So I need to tweak her attack um a, a tad bit higher i think probably go 10,500 so that this is actually very good because this slows down the enemy okay this slows down the enemy and charm also has other effects in other stories republic heroes i'll go to that later so again this is very important this one the superstar afflicts attention mark for seven turns increase all damage over time on target hero with attention by 100 percent not really use this um fan club i'm also a fan of this ability because it afflicts target with anti-fan mark and triggers double team and this actually is extra attacks although this is basic attacks but again it this is extra attacks on your enemies okay so as for Janai's s1 um it's usually a this is a, a damage over time and binds mana for two turns this is actually good for two turns then the next is also a bind mana for three turns so again she's there to control um damage over time but mainly she's there to afflict charm so that the two other Astoris heroes would be or would shine in this uh pvp so the first I will discuss with Michelle. Okay. Shell, um, so on each potential re uh, reduces damage against allies by 30%, which is actually good. Dimension mark, um, increases dodge for herself. Carnival, this is actually good. It increases a critical hit of all allies by 100%. Okay. So Puppet Show afflicts charm, aff afflicts a charmed enemy with Puppet Show mark. So if an enemy mark with puppet show dies, reduces block of all enemies by 25%. So this is one effect that charm really, really, really has. So when some when that hero dies, then the reduction of block um, applies to your enemy. So again, this stacks up until four. So this opens up a lot of damage for your enemies. Next would be, I never really appreciated her S1 until I leveled up. I, you know, I, ha I had charm in effect in terms of Janai. So what it does is last chapter decreases attack of all enemies affected by charm by 50%, which again slows them. Um, so basically story slows them down, decreases their attack and softens them up and decreases their block. So again, this opens up a lot of possibilities. And to top it all up, she binds the barrier effects for 10 turns. Removes barrier as well. So again, I don't have a problem with um, what to call this with the first guardians. Um, there, um, most of the time they are charmed. So again, once she does this, even on auto, she still does this because this is her S1. She does this on her first turn. So again, um, it's going to be this is going to be an important spell uh, moving forward if you want to bring this team in PvP. And hallucinate reduces hit by thirty. Okay, again with charm, deals additional eight percent with own maximum health damage when the attack hits. And her S two is actually a very good utility, you know, utility spell. I usually use this, so this is actually, the, it increases the attack of an ally except the caster by 65% of own for 7 turns, which I usually put on either Jin or Redly. So Jin for maximum damage for attack, and for Redly for, you know, to, to gain, to increase health for S2. So the target gains 3 mana. 
on, on top of increasing the attack status effect immunity and resets the target's turn once per round so again once she casts this the 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 hero that receives this automatically takes um its turn or his or her turn okay so grant status effect immunity one time to self can't be stacked okay again shell is very very good hands down i've enjoyed playing this team because of shell and also enjoyed it playing because of Jin. the reason why i don't bring adams over Jin is because of Jin's utility um let's let's go with adams first adams is actually um a option for you guys as well because he has a lot of uh, he has heart shrek as well same as Jin. But the damage that he deals is going to be massive. So when a target mark with charm is taking damage over time, deals 30% additional damage. So again, he, he deals a lot of punishment. But again, he is slower than Jin. That is why I don't need him. I need Jin more. Because Jin is actually crucial to, to your Historic Public team. Because again, right now in the meta, you have a lot of Dorcas running around with very high attack speed and with aoe bind so that is the problem with dorka uh i still cannot solve that problem during the last pvp because uh, obviously the speed of Jin, of this Jin of mine is actually just 190 so more or less dorkas that are in the top um top 200 are already uh, can can probably be the 200s so i still have to tinker with Jin. Jin right now in my team is actually built um but before i go to the to, to the build let me share with you what i'm what i'm mentioning so he has piercing damage 1000 um the, the secret st stealth technique not so much of a factor for me because this is more defensive side for him so increases dodge Heart Strike is going to be an important um, passive that can really um, incapacitate your enemy. This is the one that I'm talking about. I prefer Jin because of, again, a flick silence for three turns, which is actually good. Especially in the early game, if he goes first and he afflicts silence on the first enemy to react, this is actually very, very useful as long as the 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 enemy is charmed so mana burn if 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 target is charmed of um and mana burn so okay mana burn for one so the, the the target should be charmed so that he could be silenced so it resets own turn if target dies so again um after branding mark hits decrease targets hit by 50 percent again another um good uh, effect of his s1 so, but I actually value most the silence for his skills. So, his S1 and S2 has both silence, more or less, the sim uh, more or less similar, and his S2 has bind. So, bind mana effect on the target for two turns as well. So, silence and bind. So, what can you do for two turns? And the silence here is for four turns. So, again, he is going to be, he's usually first out of the gate. I'll show you guys later. My only concern for him is that he lacks attack speed as of the moment. So as you can see, my my gear for him would be attack. I built him for attack. Just be, just uh, I didn't know actually that attack speed was going to be better for him. So attack speed, I only have one gear for attack speed. The rest are attack, as you can see. But you don't need to put attack on him. You need to change this to attack speed but i'm trying i'm going to try to look for gear that will suit him for attack speed um he needs to be first he needs to go ahead of the dorcas out there because if if uh, north one frosty and dorcas starts the turn and she does uh, and she does uh her s1 which uh, mana binds you then i'm so sorry then the game is usually over based on my experience Okay, guys, for the PvP showcase, I'm going to have to go with my mobile. Um, I've already recorded a couple of matches already, but 
again um i've used two emulators already blue stacks and ld player both of them didn't really match up to to exos heroes and they hanged and they dropped during matches so i'll go with um with my mobile guys so please bear with me um i glad i'm glad that i had this setup already um let's go again with um, the team lenombe uh matchup so let's do a friendly matchup guys hopefully this time the mobile device stands up to expectation and uh, i'll have three matchups for you guys so first will be lenombe um if you're going to build this team what more or less are you going to do um in terms of um, taking care of the enemies sorry i didn't put it on uh, on manual so Jin went on auto but uh, redly is so as you can see there um all of them are charmed so again this really helps a lot in terms of um you facing the number because they are more softer softer to kill that is that is what i mean so in terms of the number the first turn is not really crucial with Jin. you can actually um just do anything so for redley's s1 uh, what i would do is i would silence the next enemy that would be in as you can see there below um the the what, what do you call this the the order of things um then i would do the s1 for for shell because I need to remove barriers, which again contributes to more, you know, the Lenombe being softer and easier to kill. Once the barriers are removed, again, they're really um, going to have it. So for Garf, usually what I would do is is uh, her S2 to take out the back line. So that is actually your usual, you know. Your usual routine or your usual um what's the word what's the word your usual um sequence of things battle sequence so again as you can see the number by this team is going to be very good um again as long as you have built janai with a high enough charm of ten thousand, i think most of your matches are going to be good so that is it for the Nombe guys. Let's look for a Greenland team. Look for a Greenland uh, opponent. See if I can. Let's go uh, on top. Not this one. This is another Nombe. The Nombe as well. Not that one. Okay, so here we are. A little bit of Greenland here and uh, Ram G. So let's do a final, uh, sorry, a a matchup with uh, Greenland. Um, I'll also do a matchup later with Northman Frosty, but I tell you guys, it's very much difficult, especially if you do, don't go first. So for Greenland, what I do is if uh, I'll check out the first one that's going to do an action. It's going to be Rera on their side. So what I do is I go with Rera. I attack Rera with Jin. So mana bind as well. So that she don't she doesn't gain any mana for her first turn. Doesn't really matter if you kill her or not. Most of the time you won't be able to. So again, Rudley gets second turn with uh, his S2. So this is actually again a much smoother time in terms of pvp <laughs> i'm actually going to be done with emulators for pvp for exo so again another uh, a turn reset so what do you do so you try to silence as well rara for good measure so take note guys they still have their shields but they're all charmed so just do your s1 for shell and again it's usually game over from here because the most annoying thing that you know that really um keeps them from surviving is actually the barrier so once shell takes the barriers off then the gloves are off technically so again um garf takes care of the backline with her s2 so again 
both instances, Lenombe, Greenland, most of your problem would come from the shield. So once the shields are off, they're usually very squishy. Um, let's look for. Gonna have the bit. Uh, we're gonna have a bit of a delay because uh, of uh, of uh, what do you call this? Of a loom, but again, that's not really a problem. I tried this match. I, I tried this team actually. I switched out uh, FC Garf. Then I brought in um, FC Adams. Not really a good good team to bring. Because guys, they are actually very soft as well. They don't have much defense that uh, Garf gives them. So um, they, even though that uh, Redley is there to give them def uh, defense and HP, it still is not very viable, guys. So I would suggest to keep this team intact. Just tinker with it. Um, adjust some things that you need to adjust. So who's going to act next? Let's try to take out um, the loom. Because the loom uh, with the provoke, I really don't like it. Um, okay, uh, one more note, guys. When you're facing off with Greenland, try not to attack Talia, okay? Leave her be because, again, um, the, the most futile thing that you're going to do is waste your attacks on her because she has very high dodge. So, again, if you want to maximize your attacks, deal it with her other teammates. Um, just leave her alone because, again, she will be... She will be... Um, what do you call this? She will be um, healing everybody... But again, her heals won't be that enough. So again, leave her alone. Do not, do not attack her. Try to attack her probably the last, uh, as the last one. Because again, um, one attack wasted on her is actually an opportunity missed on attacking other, you know, other enemies uh, or teammates that she has. So again, Ulum. This is why I hate the loop because of the provoke and um, again she's combined with Talia and her. They usually are just a delay. As you can see here, free hits already. This is going, I think, anti fan mark. So at this point, um, Talia is actually just grasping for HP. So this is going to be GG. I don't see any way that they could win here with uh, with the lack of manpower here. Let's try to finish this, guys, and let's look for a North Von Frosty matchup, which I really dread at this point. Okay. So down to two. Actually, Jin here is actually my main executioner, so I hope he takes care of. Uh, there you go, of a loom. So Talia is the last one. Hopefully, we could just silence her, and she shuts her mouth, and she doesn't cast anything after this one. So let's just turn reset, Jin. If Jin had the damage capacity of Adams, that would be crazy. Actually, he would be the best. Uh, he would be the best assassin in this game, by far. But he does have burst, so again, he's halfway there already. As you can see, crit hits. So goodbye. Goodbye, baby. Okay, let's look for a North One Frosty matchup. See if uh, we can find someone here. Okay, so we have here a North One Frosty opponent. Okay, so let's try this one. I'm just gonna, you know, cross my fingers that that Dorka doesn't go first than uh, my Jin. So it's going to be the last match, guys. So. More or less, I'll show you just the weakness of this team. If you can actually solve 
the speed issue that, that the, the attack speed issue so for this one i am going first so what i do is i would take care of dorka get revenge for mana bind but if she goes first usually you're in trouble so if i go first then it's a success so what i do next is try to kill um valentina as well so what i do is turn reset the good thing about this match this north von frosty team is that tantalo's not here if tantalo were here this is this could have been different um again um it wouldn't have been a uh, tantalo would, wouldn't have been a difference uh because i went first but again if i go if i don't go first then if tantalo is there then really a headache for any matchup so again that that is just the weakness of this team guys i'm just gonna put this in uh, sorry not that one I'm gonna put this in auto um at this point this team i tell you has a lot of potential a lot of tweaking if you want to build this team guys um this team is for keeps and uh, i'm not sure in the future if uh, some of the members here will be changed but for now this team is actually very dominant in pvp um as long as you build um two components perfectly as in perfectly you have janai and jin you build them perfectly janai with attack and jin with attack speed then you'll be fine You'll be pretty much more than fine. Um, the challenge right now for me is reaching legend perhaps next week. So I'm um, going to try to tweak Janai and tweak uh, Jin and see if I can come up with a different, you know, more attack speed for Jin and more attack for Janai. So that is not 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 really for, for Janai. I think I, I don't have any room, wiggle room for her to tweak. In terms of her attack but for Jin, i think i do have more wiggle room to bump up his attack speed because right now uh, if you can remember there um i only have one gear with a substat with attack speed the rest is is going to be attack so again hopefully i could i could tweak his gear i'll i'll find some within the other heroes that i have and this matchup is actually taking too long And they survived, guys. He has he has Ramji and he has uh, what they call this. He has Misty. So let's see. So let's see what I can do here. Let's take out Ramji, guys. So annoying. Two more to go, guys. Two more to go. Do a turn reset for Jin. This is a good team, really, to manual for auto. Um, kind of fifty to seventy-five percent win rate. Because again, the problem with auto is that um, is that Reddy doesn't do his S two on his first turn. So that is actually the only concern that you have when you're going to put them on auto but again otherwise if you're going to do in manual then i think you'll be fine so damage immunity again which i really 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 hate let's do this so that misty would have her own share of punishment Pretty tough not to crack, right? Tantalo is the key to North One Frosty, I tell you. Without Tantalo and without Dorka, I don't think that they would have a powerhouse right now in terms of their team. So let's just finish this out, guys.
do this. I'm gonna take out Misty last. There you go. Very good. Misty is gonna be last. I'm gonna pump up some health and defense while I'm here. And boom. We're good. Victory. So again, guys, that is it for my showcase of stories and Wasted Red Team Comps. I think they are, you know, they, they belong in the elite teams actually right now in PvP. Um, just need to tweak them to the right tweaking at this point. Okay. Anyway, guys, for those who have, of you who have stuck this far, uh, uh, please consider subscribing. Click that bell icon and also put a like to this video. Thank you, guys. Take care, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.